Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today I finally did something that I know a lot of people have been wanting to see. Uh, and that is make a video on a hub, uh, make an instructional video on my cell phone tower. Uh, I honestly thought that I actually did this quite a few months ago and actually looking back through my backlog of uh, videos, I never did. So without further ado, I want to get to building the uh, cell phone tower. Go ahead and scooter in just a little bit more, get one more quick look of what we are going to be doing today. This is the main portion, the most important portion of the cell phone tower build, uh, but I will be showing you how to do the stand-up portion of it and everything else as well. So sit back, stay tuned, get some, get your pen, pencil, camera, whatever it is you need. Uh, I'm going to do this in a few small parts so that way it's not too confusing. Uh, so stay tuned and let's get to building. Now the first thing we're going to start with is the main pole structure. Uh, this is a list of all the pieces you will need. I'm going to call it a list, but this is the image of all the pieces that you're going to need. And it's quite simple. I'm going to back back out now so we can see a little bit better. Uh, what you do is you're going to take four of these. And with the first ones, what I like to do, so that way the build, because let me just show you what I mean, for example, if you just put them together like this, I mean, yeah, they'll hold, but if you were to bump into it, they come apart quite easily. Uh, so just an added structural bonus, what I do is I put these little technique, uh, I guess you'd call it the axle piece, if you will, uh, in between there. And that way, now it won't, well, it will still will flip a little bit, but not nearly as much, which I pushed it too far in is what the problem is, but it won't flex nearly as much as you would see it without that particular piece. Anyway, now on the second one, we're going to do another one. So we just stick that there and put our third piece on. So now we have three of these connected. And then in the very last one, I use a slightly longer one. And the reason that is, is we're going to be putting that on and then we're going to be putting this piece on like so and then we're going to be putting another the final uh, beam piece on it if I can get it to line up there we go so now you have your basic structure uh, for the cell phone antenna and then there's a little bit of details to the top of it and it's very 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 simple to do of which I forgot one piece in the picture and that is this so I apologize for that <laughs> anyway you put the uh, jumper 2 by 2 on top and then we're gonna put a one by one round on top of that. And we're gonna take one of these clip pieces, set that on the side. And what that particular piece is for, well, let me go ahead and put the antenna on top of that. But what that piece is for is for our obstruction light is what we like to call those. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your uh, handle piece and put two round translucent red plates onto that to give it the look of the, the uh, obstruction light. And then we're going to set that inside of there like that. So now that gives us our top. Now we're going to start working on the pieces that actually surround this portion of it for the cell phone array. Anyway, here is all the pieces you're going to need. We're going to start with just making all these pieces here. <clears throat> so we're going to need six one by six plates. We're going to need six of these modified plate with the uh, clip on the side of it, six one by one rounds, and 18 of these uh, little grill pieces. And what it is is these grill pieces actually physically go on each one of these plates. Like I said, this these are what's going to actually make up the uh, cell phone arrays, if you will, or the, the cell phone antennas, receivers, transmitters, so on and so forth. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what they call these, but you see these on all sides of the uh, cell phone towers anyway. Trying to get those all placed together. To me, it's a really simple, fun, easy build. Uh, there is some really unique techniques, which are going to come into play here in just a minute. But let's go ahead and get these all down first. Now the thing that you want to do once you get all these made up is you're going to flip them upside down and then you're going to take your uh, one by one round. You're going to come down one, two, three, 
and you're going to put one on there and then you're going to put the clip on top of that. So now you're going to make six of these total like this. So let's go ahead and jump ahead and do that. Excuse my big hands for getting in the way. Uh, while I'm doing this, real quickly, if you haven't checked out my Amazon page, I highly recommend checking it out. I try to do daily deals uh, on my Amazon page. There'll be a link in the description of this video below. So please, if you get a chance, check that out. Any and all sales from those links do help the growth of my channel. And also, if you get a chance, check out my merch shop. And again, that is also in the description and the comments section of this video below. Anyway, now that we have six of these made total, let's start with the rest of the array. Now in this next section is where you're gonna see some really cool techniques. Again, now we are getting to building the railing that is going around on the cell phone tower. So, now what you're gonna do with that, and it's a little tricky, uh, it can be a little fun <laughs> fussy, uh, but I promise you it does work. You're gonna take these uh, handle pieces, or taps, I believe is the correct term for them, and then you're gonna take and slide one up inside of each one of these. So you're gonna put one there, you're gonna slide one. Like I said, it's kind of tricky to get them started, but once you get them started, they go in pretty easy. Uh, so now we got two of those done. And you don't wanna let it push all the way through. You want it to be flush with the top of that hole. So now we got one of those done. Let's do another one. And again, these are <laughs> a little fussy, uh, but I but promise me, I, 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 it, it's definitely worth it. And I think the end results are fantastic from doing this. Just don't get too frustrated while you're doing it. <laughs> okay, now we got two. And the last one. There's one. And just to show you what it is, it's best if you hold it with two fingers, kind of get it in there, spin it up just a little bit, and then you can slide it in once you get it started. Anyway, now that we've got those three done, now here's where it's gonna start getting a little goofy, <clears throat> where you gotta start being a little more persnickety, I guess would be a good way to put it. Uh, we're gonna take this, and now let's make two connection points to connect these tower pieces onto. The first piece, we're going to use the cone shape piece and this little clip, it's a plate with a clip on it. Pop that on there like so, and you're gonna put that on one side then directly on the opposite, and we're going to put it on last, but I'm still going to get it put together. We're going to take this clip and this clip, which are direct opposites. It's the modified plate with the clip on it. One is horizontal, one is vertical. And you're going to take that, and you're going to clip that on the back side. Okay, that's going to give us our main structure now. Now that we've gotten that, this front clip here, we're going to take one of these that we just put the uh, pieces on, and we're gonna clip that little guy right in the center there. So now that's connecting one of our service arrays or phones, receivers, whatever you wanna call it. Then you're gonna kinda of turn those just a little bit. Now, with that being turned, there's two different things you can do. I, I did mine one way. You can actually turn this on the inside like this and clip it in there and put an antenna sticking off the top of it. But all I did is I took these and I put them facing outward like so. And then you take your next one, if I can grab it here, and you're going to clip the next plate on there like this. So now essentially what you see here is these two tap pieces are held together by one of these pieces. And you gotta do that with the last one too on the back side. So let's go ahead and get this guy connected up. So let's put one more here and we'll put one in here and now last but not least we're going to put this one on <clears throat> now this one you want to point to the inside because that's what's going to actually attach to this so now we're going to clip that one on there snap that in and then clip this guy on there 
And once you do that, you can have you can actually sit and position this to get it to more level position. So now you have your basic framework for. Let me go ahead and zoom that out a little bit so it's an easier to see. Now you have your basic framework for your cell phone tower. And now the only thing that's left to do, and you can even add more details if you want or add more of these, but all I did is I put two of these on each side. Mind you, you're going to want to play with them on location uh, to get them a little bit square and more even. But this still gives you the basic idea. And like I said, you can play with it at home to make it look more... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Professional. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that is everything for the cell phone tower. Like I said, I know that I had promised this for quite a while. And uh, I finally, if what it is, is I actually kind of just recently turned down a few of the collaborations I was doing because I'm just getting so backlogged on a lot of my videos and such. Uh, and I want to get back to building and showing more so I'm going to hopefully start posting a lot more videos as you'll see But anyway, that was the original uh, cell phone tower array And this is the one that we just built like I said right now. It's not pretty You'll have to sit and play with it and kind of tweak them and move them around and so on and so forth until you get a real happy appearance uh, But that is how you make it and my actual plan is to probably put about four of these throughout my city because what city would be complete if you didn't have a bunch of cell phone towers because nobody wants to be without their cell phones. <laughs> anyway, the, that is all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my next tutorial will be on the, because uh, I know I've had a lot of people ask about this as well, and it's probably not going to be until next week, but it's going to be for the lift truck for the airport, uh, as I've had a lot of requests for that. But again, uh, that's all for this particular video. Again, I want to just mention, if you get a chance, check out my Amazon links. They will be in the description below. Check out my merch shop if you get a chance. That will be in the description and comments below. And as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.